Hello, and welcome to Deep Dive from Smart Bookworms, where we dive deep into recently released books from authors you love to read. My name is Martina, your virtual book guru. In today's episode, we'll be diving deep into the week's top five picks for Tuesday, 5th November, week near 45. Today, I'm accompanied by the knowledgeable virtual book guru, Chris Stouffer. So let's dive deep into today's deep dive, pick of the week for 5th November, 2024. Kill Yours, Kill Mine is a psychological thriller about a grief counseling group called the Pleiades. The group consists of women whose sisters were all murdered by their partners, who are all free. The counselor, MIA, guides the women to create a plan to get revenge. I'll kill yours if you kill mine. An insignificant case, a legal thriller, features Charlie Webb, a lawyer who typically works on minor cases. However, in this book, Charlie is assigned to represent an artist, Guido Sabatini, whose real name is Lawrence Weiss, who is accused of stealing back a painting he had sold. Sabatini is also a burglar and a skilled card shark. When a double homicide takes place, Charlie finds himself handling the most dangerous case of his career. The author's guide to murder is a mystery that takes place at a Scottish castle that has been converted into a writer's retreat. The victim is Brett Saffron Presley, a well-known author. The suspects are three American women novelists. Detective Chief Inspector Ewan McIntosh, who doesn't particularly like American authors, is in charge of the investigation. The Boundaries We Cross is a domestic thriller that takes place at a prestigious boarding school in Connecticut. The book centers around Charles Bliss, a teacher who is accused of being romantically involved with a student named Haley Goodlow, who comes from a wealthy family. Although Charles insists he is innocent, Haley's diary suggests otherwise. The situation escalates when Haley goes missing. Flint Kill Creek, Stories of Mystery and Suspense, is a collection of short stories that explore human darkness and anxieties. One story focuses on a woman who becomes increasingly reliant on a man who enjoys taking her for walks near a dangerous creek. Another story features a woman who is so uncomfortable with male attention that she avoids going out for coffee but agrees to meet a doctor at his home. There are also mystery novels with fantasy elements, such as The Teller of Small Fortunes and The Road of Bones. In the previous turn of our conversation, you and I discussed Dow, the immigrant fortune teller from the teller of small fortunes. Trust and betrayal. Many of the novels mentioned explore the anxieties associated with trust and betrayal, which reflects a societal concern with these issues in the real world. Strong female characters. There is a noticeable trend of strong, resilient female characters in these mystery novels, perhaps indicating a growing demand for characters who defy traditional gender roles. Escapism, the settings of these books, from castles to boarding schools, offer readers a chance to escape into different worlds and experience life from new perspectives. We encourage readers to consider what their choice of reading material reveals about themselves, suggesting that our preferences in books can provide insights into our own inner worlds, hopes, fears and desires. Psychological thrillers. These books focus on the psychological states and motivations of the characters, often exploring themes of obsession, manipulation, and madness. Kill Yours, Kill Mine. This novel centers around a grief counseling group called the Pleiades, whose members are seeking revenge for the murders of their sisters. The group's name itself foreshadows the dark events to come, referencing the seven sisters from Greek mythology associated with grief and death. Flint Kill Creek, Stories of Mystery and Suspense. This collection of short stories explores the dark undercurrents of human behavior and the anxieties that lurk beneath the surface of everyday life. Legal thrillers. These books involve legal proceedings and often feature lawyers as protagonists facing high-stakes cases with dangerous consequences. An insignificant case, this novel follows Charlie Webb, a lawyer who takes on a seemingly minor case that escalates into a deadly conspiracy. Domestic thrillers. These books center around family or personal relationships, 
often exploring themes of betrayal, secrets, and hidden motives. The Boundaries We Cross This story focuses on a teacher accused of having a relationship with a student and the ensuing investigation when the student vanishes. The setting of an elite boarding school adds to the atmosphere of privilege and hidden secrets. Hard-boiled thrillers. These books feature tough, cynical protagonists, often detectives or private investigators, navigating a gritty and violent world. Corey's Return. This novel features a retired hitman forced back into action when his daughter goes missing. Common themes in thriller novels. Trust and betrayal. The books emphasize this theme, noting that many thrillers exploit anxieties about trusting others and the potential consequences of betrayal. Strong female characters. The novels also highlight the rise of complex and capable female characters in thriller novels. These women drive the plot, face challenges head-on, and defy traditional gender roles. Escapism. Thriller novels often provide readers with a sense of escape by transporting them to different worlds, from secluded boarding schools to Scottish castles. The Appeal of Thriller Novels Readers are drawn to thrillers for the suspense, excitement, and psychological depth they offer. The book suggests that thrillers may also provide a safe space for exploring anxieties about trust and betrayal. The popularity of strong female characters indicates a desire for relatable and empowering narratives. Thrillers offer a diverse range of subgenres and settings, catering to a variety of tastes and preferences. Strong female characters in mystery and thriller novels. There's a significant trend in contemporary mystery and thriller novels the rise of strong, resilient female characters. This trend is evident in the variety of novels discussed, suggesting a shift in the genre towards narratives that challenge traditional gender roles and offer more complex and empowering representations of women. Dow, the immigrant fortune teller from the Teller of Small Fortunes. She is portrayed as a self-reliant woman who chooses to travel alone with her mule, suggesting a sense of independence and a past that she might be trying to escape. Her decision to only tell small fortunes hints at a deeper backstory and a fear of the potential consequences of revealing too much. M.I.A., the grief counsellor from Kill Yours, Kill Mine. She leads a group of women who have lost their sisters to murder and encourages them to take a radical approach to coping with their grief and seeking revenge. While her methods are ethically questionable, Mia's character exhibits leadership and a willingness to challenge societal norms. The women of the Pleiades in Kill Yours, Kill Mine. Each member of this group is grappling with the trauma of losing a sister and the injustice of the murderers going free. They band together to take control of their situation and seek retribution, demonstrating strength and resilience in the face of tragedy. Scylla Nordvik, the protagonist of The Road of Bones. She is a young woman on the run from a death sentence imposed by the Queen. Scylla embarks on a dangerous journey across a treacherous landscape, showcasing courage, determination, and survival skills in a fantasy setting. The three American lady novelists in The Author's Guide to Murder. While the sources don't provide details about their individual characters, the fact that they are the primary suspects in a murder mystery suggests that they are complex and potentially capable of deception, or even violence. Their presence as central figures in the narrative, rather than just victims or witnesses, points to a greater emphasis on female agency. Significance of this trend The prominence of strong female characters in these mystery and thriller novels reflects a growing demand for stories that offer relatable and empowering narratives for women. These characters face challenges make mistakes and struggle, but ultimately demonstrate resilience and agency in overcoming adversity. Challenge traditional gender roles. These women are not simply love interests or damsels in distress. They are active agents in their own stories, driving the plot and defying expectations. Reflect a changing societal landscape. The increasing visibility of strong female characters in fiction mirrors a broader cultural shift towards greater gender equality and representation. Beyond representation, it's important to note that strong doesn't necessarily equate to flawless or invincible. 
These characters can be flawed, vulnerable, and even morally ambiguous, which adds to their complexity and realism. Their strength lies in their ability to confront challenges, make difficult choices, and ultimately shape their own destinies. We suggest that this trend is not just about representation, but also about exploring the depths of female experience and showcasing the diverse ways in which women navigate a complex and often dangerous world. The Road of Bones is a fantasy romance novel that tells the story of Scylla Nordvig, a young woman who is on the run from a queen who wants her dead. Scylla's father gives her instructions to travel the dangerous Road of Bones before he dies. During her journey, Scylla joins forces with a group called the Blood Axe Crew. The leader of the Blood Axe Crew is Axe Eyes, and his right-hand man is the Wolf. The Wolf is described as handsome. Scylla must gain the trust of Axe Eyes while also avoiding romantic entanglements with the Wolf. All the while, Scylla is being pursued by an assassin who has been sent by the Queen. The Road of Bones is a fantasy romance that combines elements of adventure, danger, and romance. Examining the Immigrant Fortune Teller in the Teller of Small Fortunes Some insight into the character of Dao, the Immigrant Fortune Teller featured in the Teller of Small Fortunes. While the exact details of her immigrant experience remain unclear, the book offers clues about her character and motivations, highlighting how her immigrant status might shape her journey. Dao's Choices and Backstory Dao's decision to travel alone with only her mule suggests a preference for solitude and perhaps a desire to avoid forming deep connections. This isolation might be linked to her past experiences as an immigrant. Her practice of telling only small fortunes further hints at a desire to remain inconspicuous and avoid attracting unwanted attention. This cautious approach might stem from a need for self-preservation or a fear of potential consequences related to her immigrant status. The description of Dao's past as bitter implies that she has faced hardships and challenges, potentially linked to her experiences as an immigrant. This background likely contributes to her cautious nature and her reluctance to engage in situations that could bring further trouble. The intersection of fantasy and immigrant experiences one of the sources compares The Teller of Small Fortunes to The Golem and the Ginny, a novel that explores magical realism and immigrant experiences. This comparison suggests that The Teller of Small Fortunes might similarly examine how Dao navigates a fantastical world while carrying the weight of her immigrant past. The presence of a thief and a mercenary seeking Dao's help to find a lost child introduces elements of adventure and mystery into her solitary life. This encounter could force Dao to confront her past and re-evaluate her choices, potentially leading to personal growth and a reassessment of her place in the world. Potential themes and interpretations Resilience and adaptation Dao's character could embody the resilience and adaptability often required of immigrants navigating new and unfamiliar environments. Isolation and belonging The novel might explore themes of isolation and belonging, examining how Dao's immigrant status affects her sense of connection and community. Facing the past, the encounter with the thief and the mercenary could symbolize a confrontation with the past, forcing Dao to address unresolved issues and potentially find healing and acceptance. Analyzing the Legal Thriller, an Insignificant Case A glimpse into the world of legal thrillers through the novel An Insignificant Case by Philip Margolin. This novel presents a compelling blend of legal proceedings, art world intrigue, and escalating danger, highlighting the captivating elements of this genre. Charlie Webb, an unlikely hero. At the heart of the story is Charlie Webb, a lawyer characterized as handling insignificant cases. This detail immediately sets up a contrast between Charlie's usual legal work and the complex, high-stakes case he unexpectedly finds himself embroiled in. Charlie's background as a graduate of a third-rate law school suggests that he might not be the most prestigious or experienced lawyer. This potentially positions him as an underdog, adding another layer of intrigue as he navigates a case that quickly spirals out of control. Guido Sabatini, 
a character shrouded in mystery. Introducing Guido Sabatini, an eccentric artist accused of stealing back his own painting. However, it is revealed that Sabatini's real name is Lawrence Weiss, and he has a hidden past as a skilled card shark and burglar. This immediately raises questions about his motivations and trustworthiness. Why does he use an alias? What is the real reason behind stealing back his painting? What role do his card sharking and burglary skills play in the larger narrative? Sabatini is a complex character with layers of deception, making him a source of both fascination and suspicion for the reader. Escalating stakes and shifting genre. The initial theft case takes a dramatic turn with the introduction of a double homicide, thrusting Charlie into a deadly situation far beyond his usual scope. This shift from a seemingly minor art theft to a murder investigation transforms the narrative from a legal drama to a full-fledged thriller. The escalation of stakes heightens the suspense, compelling the reader to question everyone's motives and grapple with the uncertainty of who is behind the murders. Compare the novel to the works of John Grisham and the Thomas Crown Affair, suggesting a classic legal thriller with a blend of courtroom drama, art heists, and intricate plot twists. Key themes and appeal. Unraveling deception. The novel's premise revolves around layers of deception, from Sabatini's hidden identity to the evolving nature of the case itself. This element of uncovering the truth and separating fact from fiction is a key driver of suspense in legal thrillers. The underdog lawyer, Charlie's portrayal as a lawyer handling insignificant cases, who is suddenly thrust into a high-stakes murder investigation taps into a common theme in legal thrillers the ordinary individual facing extraordinary circumstances. This dynamic creates a relatable protagonist and allows the reader to experience the unfolding mystery and danger through his perspective. Justice and morality. The novel likely explores themes of justice and morality, questioning the boundaries of the law and the lengths to which individuals might go to seek their own form of justice. The sources do not give enough information to definitively answer this. Further considerations. We've provided a tantalizing introduction to an insignificant case, but they leave many questions unanswered, prompting further exploration of the novel itself. What is the significance of Sabatini's art in the broader narrative? How does Charlie navigate the complexities of the legal system while facing threats to his own safety? What are the motives behind the double homicide, and how are they connected to Sabatini and his stolen painting? By delving into these questions, readers can uncover the intricacies of the plot, the characters' motivations, and the overarching themes that make an insignificant case a compelling example of a legal thriller. Examining Teen Wolves in Raised by Wolves The book provides intriguing details about Raised by Wolves by James Patterson and Emily Raymond a thriller that explores the complexities of two teenagers who claim to have been raised by wolves. Kai and Holo, a mystery unfolds. The narrative immediately plunges the reader into a dramatic scenario. Two teenagers, Kai and Holo, ransacking a small-town grocery store and attacking police officers. This violent introduction sets the stage for a story filled with suspense and raises questions about the nature of these characters. The teenager's appearance, torn and filthy clothing, calloused hands and bare feet, and fangs, immediately suggests a life detached from civilization. This description emphasizes their feral nature and aligns with their claim of being raised by wolves. Nature versus Nurture and the Clash of Worlds The central premise of Raised by Wolves prompts a deeper exploration of the nature versus nurture debate. The teenagers' violent actions clash with the expectations of human behavior, raising questions about the impact of their upbringing on their development. The novel suggests a central conflict between the teenagers' primal instincts, shaped by their alleged upbringing in the wild, and the norms and expectations of human society. This clash sets the stage for a compelling exploration of how they navigate these contrasting worlds. Adapting to a new reality Despite their initial violent outburst, Kai and Holo are taken in by the police chief and his wife, offering them a chance to integrate into a small-town community. This sudden shift in their environment further emphasizes the theme of adaptation 
and the challenges they face in conforming to societal expectations. The book notes that the teenagers attempt to adjust to this new life by attending school and even going on dates. These seemingly ordinary activities highlight their efforts to assimilate into human society, but the question remains whether they can truly suppress their wild instincts. Dark Forces and a Troubled Past The book hints at a darker element within the narrative, mentioning dark and powerful forces coming to the town, suggesting that Kai and Holo's past might not be entirely what it seems. This element adds a layer of mystery and danger to the story, implying that their escape from the wild might not be the end of their troubles. This element suggests that their upbringing might be more complex than simply being raised by wolves. The presence of these dark forces hints at a potential supernatural or even sinister element that could be linked to their origins. Connections to other stories Compare Raised by Wolves to a blend of The Jungle Book and The X-Files, drawing parallels to stories that explore the intersection of the human and animal worlds and the presence of the supernatural. The Jungle Book focuses on a human child raised by animals in the jungle, facing challenges in integrating into human society, mirroring the central premise of Raised by Wolves. The X-Files introduces elements of the paranormal and government conspiracies, potentially aligning with the dark forces that threaten the town in Raised by Wolves. Unanswered questions and potential for exploration. While the synopsis provides a compelling overview of Raised by Wolves, they leave many questions unanswered, prompting further exploration of the novel itself. What is the true nature of Kai and Holo's upbringing? Were they truly raised by wolves? Or is there a more complex and perhaps sinister explanation for their behavior? What are the specific challenges they face as they try to adapt to human society? What are the dark forces that threaten the town and how are they connected to the teenager's past? Can Kai and Holo reconcile their primal instincts with the demands of civilization or will their past ultimately consume them? By exploring these questions, Readers can uncover the intricacies of the plot, the characters' motivations, and the thought-provoking themes that make Raised by Wolves a captivating thriller. Examining the life and legacy of Johnny Carson through Carson the Magnificent, this book offers a glimpse into the highly anticipated biography, Carson the Magnificent, by Bill Zemi with Mike Thomas, which promises to shed light on the enigmatic life of the legendary Johnny Carson. A long-awaited look behind the curtain, Johnny Carson, known as the King of Late Night, remains an enduring figure in entertainment history. However, his private nature has always shrouded him in a certain mystique, leaving fans and the public curious about the man behind the iconic persona. The book emphasizes the significance of this biography in providing insights into Carson's personal life and professional journey. One of the book's highlight is the fact that Zemi was one of the last journalists to interview Carson before his death in 2005. This suggests that the biography might contain exclusive first-hand accounts and personal reflections from Carson himself, offering a rare level of authenticity and intimacy. The book further emphasizes that Zemi spent nearly a decade working on this project before facing health challenges, indicating the depth of research and dedication invested in crafting a comprehensive and insightful portrait of Carson's life. Exploring the Man Behind a Persona The book suggests that Carson the Magnificent aims to provide a more complete picture of Johnny Carson, going beyond the public image to reveal the complexities of his personality. The book's title itself, Carson the Magnificent, hints at a celebration of his talent and achievements while acknowledging the depth and nuance of his character. Expect to anticipate that the biography will offer insights into Carson's humor, anxieties, and drive, elements that shaped his comedic style and contributed to his legendary status. There is also an expressed hope that the book will examine how Carson's personal philosophies influenced his career, particularly in light of his famous quote, Be yourself and tell the truth. This suggests a deeper exploration of Carson's values and how they manifested in his approach to comedy and entertainment. The golden age of television and the enduring legacy of late night. 
The biography's release coincides with a renewed interest in late-night television, making it a timely exploration of the genre's history and evolution. Carson's reign on The Tonight Show marked a pivotal era in late-night entertainment, and Carson the Magnificent promises to contextualize his impact and lasting influence. The book underscores that Carson the Magnificent is for anyone who grew up watching Carson or just wants a glimpse behind the curtain of a true entertainment icon. This statement broadens the book's appeal, reaching both those familiar with Carson's work and a newer generation curious about his legacy, unanswered questions, and potential for discovery. The book provides a promising introduction to Carson the Magnificent, but they leave several questions unanswered, prompting a deeper engagement with the biography itself. What specific challenges did Carson face throughout his career, and how did he navigate the pressures of fame and public scrutiny? What were the personal relationships that shaped his life, and how did they influence his work? What were the creative processes behind his comedic genius, and what insights can be gained into his comedic timing, improvisation skills, and ability to connect with audiences? How did Carson's legacy shape the landscape of late-night television, and what is his enduring impact on comedy and entertainment as a whole? By exploring these questions through the lens of Carson the Magnificent, readers can gain a deeper appreciation for Johnny Carson's life, his comedic brilliance, and his lasting contributions to the world of entertainment. Exploring Flint Kill Creek, Stories of Mystery and Suspense This book provides insights into Joyce Carol Oates' short story collection, Flint Kill Creek, Stories of Mystery and Suspense, highlighting its exploration of human darkness and anxieties. A master of psychological suspense, the collection positions Oates as a skilled writer known for her ability to create chilling and thought-provoking stories. The description of Flint Kill Creek emphasizes its focus on crime fiction and psychological suspense, suggesting that the collection will likely resonate with readers who appreciate stories that explore the darker aspects of human nature. Oates knows how to pack a punch in a short amount of space, suggesting that each story will be concise yet impactful leaving a lasting impression on the reader. Oates is really good at getting under your skin, indicating that her writing style is likely to be immersive and evocative, creating a sense of unease and tension that lingers even after finishing a story. Unsettling Scenarios and the Fragility of Trust The collection offers brief glimpses into several stories within the collection, each presenting unsettling scenarios that tap into common anxieties and fears. One story features a woman whose dependence on a man grows as he takes her on walks beside a dangerously roaring creek, highlighting themes of manipulation and vulnerability in relationships. The image of the roaring creek evokes a sense of danger and unpredictability, hinting at the potential for the relationship to take a sinister turn. Another story centers on a woman who is so uncomfortable with male attention that she avoids going out for coffee but agrees to meet a doctor at his home. This scenario raises concerns about boundaries and the potential for danger in seemingly ordinary social interactions, particularly for women navigating a world where male attention can often feel threatening. Connections to other authors Compare Oates' writing to that of Shirley Jackson and Gillian Flynn, suggesting similarities in their exploration of psychological suspense and their ability to create atmospheres of unease and tension, unanswered questions and potential for deeper exploration. While the book provides an overview of Flint Kill Creek, they leave several questions unanswered, prompting further investigation into the collection. What are the specific details of each story, and how do they contribute to the overall themes of the collection? How does Oates' writing style create a sense of psychological suspense and unease? By exploring these questions through a close reading of Flint Kill Creek, readers can gain a deeper understanding of Oates' mastery of psychological suspense and her ability to craft stories that resonate long after the final page. And there you have it, our pick of the week for Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. If you enjoyed today's deep dive, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more book deep dives, and share this video with your fellow book lovers.
Until next time on Deep Dive with Smart Bookworms, keep reading, keep growing, and we'll see you in the next one.